Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a Dollar Tree haul and I do have a funny story to tell. Okay, I'll tell it when I'm doing it. So, um, the first run, I was looking for something. I think, a, hmm, like I had to get something. Oh, I know what it was. Um, the two gallon Ziploc bags because I was doing a crafts or a, a flea market sale kind of thing of scrapbook stuff. So I wanted to put my big paper in there. So then I saw this. These are really cute. Just bought them. <clears throat> They're upper and lower, so it'd be kind of cute for uh, whatever's. And then I saw this. Now look at this. Okay. If anybody's familiar with Melody Ross, if not, Google it because this is exactly Melody Ross. They're either stealing her design or she designed it for them, I swear to God, because it's exactly what she does. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, whoa. But I don't see her name on it anywhere, so. And then somebody um, had another one. I think it was Cheaply Chic, which if you don't watch her, go watch her because she is so sweet. She has really cute ideas. Um, she made these little bunny rosettes at Easter with the Dollar Tree bunny eggs. If nothing else, go watch that because they're adorable. Anyways, she hauled one of these and I can't remember what she said a reminder of, but I'm like, yeah, it does. But, you know, and that's what happens. I know it just happened to Claudine Helmuth where another country can take something and if they tweak it a little bit, anybody actually can take something if they tweak it a little bit. Even though you have a copyright on it, it's theirs to sell. And Claudine had that happen to her, which is really sad because she's a struggling artist. And we love her. But anyway, so total ripoff, but I love it. And I bought it. So I supported the company that ripped it off. There you go. Um, and then these, Yoli Bean hauled some black ones like these. And then I found there's a couple, like three or four patterns. <clears throat> you know, they're... So they're just like little pocket journals, which kind of nice to throw in your purse. I thought that was pretty. And like I need notebooks and journals. I know. I couldn't pass it. Look at how pretty that is. I love the design. Isn't that cool? It's like a little ring binder. But I do, I do use them. I, I've got, I've got, I do use them. So it's okay. Although I will say that at my flea market I sold a bunch of them. <laughs> and then I found this. They have it in the mason jar too. I've seen that. <coughs> Excuse me, but I like this one better. Because I've got a little black um, KitchenAid that I love. So, so I thought that was cute. But you always, I always am trying to figure this out. Always. So this is a great little tool. Yeah, that's cool. So... Then I found these for summer. Very pretty. I have long hair and I, it's you know one of those things you have long hair but then you put it in the ponytail. Oh, so Scrubby came with because we were going to our acupuncture appointment. <coughs> Excuse me, yesterday. So he goes, well, how long am I gonna be? And I'm like, like 10 minutes because I was going in to get these um, kitchen mats, cutting mats for a project I wanna do. So he goes, all right, I'll just come in with you. So it's like, all right, but don't bug me every two minutes. And he goes, I won't, I won't. So we go down one aisle, and he's kind of hovering. I'm like, okay, honey, I love you dearly, but don't follow me around, okay? Because I, I just can't, because then I'm rushed. <clears throat> so I won't, okay. All right. So he went another aisle, and I went up another aisle, came down, and I saw him, and I'm like, ooh, he's going to bug me. But he didn't. So then I went through the whole store, and it was probably 15 minutes, maybe close to 20, but we're, you know, we don't have to beat our acupuncture for another 10. So I actually had to go looking for him, which was kind of bizarre. So I found him, and he had, like, his hands full of all this snacks and, you know, goldfish and this, <laughs> he bought this bottle of cologne. And I thought, oh, good, he got had you know got himself busy, or whatever. So then last night he goes, oh, he goes, you know, guess what I was doing? 
at, or no, he first he was saying how, <clears throat> he goes, oh yeah, because he's, you know, the little Dora shows out, or Finding Dora, or whatever the heck it is, or Dory, is it Dory, Dory or Dory, yeah, Dory, so he goes, oh, they had those little Dory characters there, and you know, that so-and-so, I mean, he's naming them all off, and he goes, and then the, the one fish, you know, Finding whoever, and I said, Nemo, he goes, yeah, so, did, did you kind of wonder what I was doing? I go, well, yeah. I was like, where were y'all? And he goes, oh, well, you know, they had them all up there, but they were all mixed up. So he goes, I just stood there and just put them all on the hooks in the right order, like all the Dorries, all the Nebels. And I'm like, oh, well, that's, you know, and, I, and then I said, you know, if I was walking down a kid's toy aisle and saw some old pervert sorting the rack or, you know, the, the hooks, I would call security or I would. Because I've seen that in some of the kind of iffier Dollar Trees where these old farts are just kind of hanging around the toy aisle. And it's like, that's never a good thing, okay? They're not looking at anything. They're just kind of hovering. But anyways, I thought it was kind of funny that he did that. And it's kind of like, well, you know, might as well do something while you're there because I'm not hurrying. So that was kind of cute. That was just funny. But anyway, so here's these bagel chips. I love them. They're addictive. But they always have the cinnamon ones and not the garlic ones. And the cinnamon ones are good, but I need a salty snack sometimes. So, oh, Scrubby also got this. He wanted me to show that he found some name brand Kleenex at Dollar Tree. He goes, make sure you put the Kleenex in there. Oh, this was the other run I did, not the two dollar, two gallon bags. This, so they work really well. You get two of them for a buck. My sister in law, last two years ago, I think, was telling me all about them. She goes, "God, you gotta go get them there at Kohl's, twenty bucks, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "It sounds like a good idea, but I know like Scrubby does the grocery shopping because he doesn't trust me, and I don't trust me either." Because no matter when I go, I'm hungry. And I just buy, you know. But anyways, so he... I've tried to get him to use totes and he won't. So finally when he saw these, he goes, God, those kind of make sense. I'm like, yes, now please use them. And he goes, oh, I'll use them. So he took them today. Because he goes um, shopping on Saturday, Sundays. Cause it's, you know, it's not too crowded. So anyways, we'll do a review on that. But they're kind of nice. I mean, they're the... You know, the tote baggy kind of, I don't know if it's nylon or whatever it is. But anyways, um, so a dollar. So I bought three boxes, gave one to his co-workers. You know, he gave one to, one each to two of his co-workers and they were thrilled. So there you go. There's that. And then here's the, oops, er, here's the, you know, everybody's got these cutting mats. I use them in my kitchen, you know, for cutting fruit. Or vegetables, in but I have a project. I'm gonna put a picture. I bought these little wire, two tiered kind of holder rack things at a garage sale last year for a quarter each. And they're really nice, but everything's gonna fall through. I'm limited to what I put on there because it would fall through. So I got the bright idea. I'm um, I'm creating an art annex, an art layer annex in my office so that I don't always have to, you know, because my art layer is downstairs. So um, I thought I'd cut this up and put it in those little shelf things so that you don't have to worry about what you put on it because it's not going to fall through. Because trust me, I have... Uh, Learn the hard way, and it drives you nuts because you know no matter what you put on there, it's going to work its way and fall through the slat. So this will work. Um, so you get two of them, and I'm I've got I think five of those little quarter. I, there was a ton more, and I should have got them all, but I didn't um, for a quarter. I mean it was stupid, but anyways. So that's what I'm going to do with these, and then I will show the project when it's completed. So um, thanks for watching and head to your Dollar Tree.
They have so much cool stuff. But, all right, thank, oh, you know what? And one tip. Um, these were like way on a bottom shelf in a weird spot, just kind of when you walk in the door. My friend and I totally missed them. We didn't even see them. And I had checked another store. That's when I got that notepad and the alphabets. But we called ahead and asked him to hold it, um, some for us, and she did. So never know if they'll do that or not, but this one did, so it was kind of a nice deal. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Bye.